Note that after he falls, I maintain control, moving along with the force and direction of his fall. That is the snapping the wrist technique. I can use one or both of my hands to execute it. So note the change in my hand position once he goes down. If I'm in this situation, I can also execute the bird turns around the tree technique. So it works in either situation. But this way, note how I fold in the arm, then use the body to grind against him, using the whole body to whirl and turn around. If all that still isn't enough, that's when you add in the stepping around. So it's like the opponent is a tree and you are turning around that tree. So you should have a fast, fluid motion as you turn around. Make good use of the whirling around to carry out the technique. Next, I'll talk about the holding and lifting grasping form. This holding and lifting grasping form differs significantly from the seizing variant. Here, this is a lifting technique. Here, still a lifting technique. Then I grasp. This technique is known as the weasel clutches the craw. So the idea is that a weasel is attacking a chicken by biting its neck. Sometimes I can go to here. Sometimes using this hand. Then switching off. Using this hand. Switching hands again here pulling across on his arm, and then still attacking the throat. So that is the weasel clutches the craw. This is fine too. Pay attention to how to grasp the throat properly. A one-two motion to cause pain in the neck. So there are many ways to grasp. Grasping here is fine too. It is not that you have to grasp the throat. Sweep, penetrating strike, then grasping here. Or grasping this location. Pay attention to controlling his arm here. So the form shows this one grasping technique, but there are many places you can attack with it. Grasping here on the arm is fine too. Here is another variation. Next, as I'm going to grasp, and he blocks. This is the iron ox tills the soil. There are many ways to carry this attack out. Bringing his arm up in this way. Many ways to execute it. One coming to here, pressing down on the other arm, turn the hand over, snap the wrist. The second going to here and immediately push breaking the wrist. The third entrap the wrist, then move along and pull the elbow. That's fine too. The fourth if you know pulling the elbow from underneath, then you should know pulling the elbow from on top. Keeping his arm straightened. The fifth, hooking in at the opponent's shoulder joint. This can be used to dislocate the shoulder. This way would also be okay. Bring him to here, and then push to break. So there are many ways to do this. Another would be striking to here, or grasping here. Pay attention. 
the hand point strikes here. Then you make use of your forearm to press inward. So each of these methods is different. Next, strike to here. Then a binding, holding, and grasping, bringing him upward.